Hello and welcome. This video is going to be a haul because despite my uh, hoarded death pile, I, <laughs> I needed some dopamine today due to the fact that I still work my nine to five job and I hate it with my whole heart. So in order to alleviate the malaise, I went thrift shopping at CHKD, CHKD on Tuesdays, which is the day not only I went thrifting, but also uploaded this video, you get 25% off. So uh, yes, please. And pretty much everything uh, cost averaging except for the two ties. So if I take the two ties out, which were $2 a piece, everything else was $4.50. So just keep that in mind. I spent a total of like $44.80 today. So if you take the two ties out, which is $2 a piece, Everything else was $4.50 each. So, math, our friend. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this Flying R Ranchware, made in the USA. I love picking up pearl snaps because for me, they move pretty quickly regardless of brand, but I have actually never seen or sold this brand before, so I'm pretty excited about that. Also, this is the first one I've seen that actually does neck and shoulder to end of sleeve measurements, which I found pretty interesting. That's what that 34 is, by the way. It's from like here to here. That's what that measurement is. So excited about this. I'm excited about everything. What am I talking about? So now I'm gonna show you the two ties I picked up. So I picked up the Met tie. I decided to pick this one up despite the fact that I do still have a couple that haven't moved because this is more of a, I guess, classic pattern. So I do believe that, that this will sell. This is 100% silk. Again, these were $2 a piece. I also picked up this Loot Crate tie, Marvel Loot Crate tie. If you do not know, this is Deadpool, uh, pretty much like X-Men Deadpool symbol. Uh, and it is a skinny tie, and I did see comps for this in new condition, so someone just sold their loot crate uh, for $24, but I'm guessing since this is pre owned condition, I'll get like 10, which is I'm fine with. So if you are not okay with making between five and $15 profit on a small lightweight item that takes three pictures and two measurements and uh, about a minute to list, don't get ties. I, however, am perfectly okay with that. So I know some people are like, they're not into ties, just like some people are not into mugs. I'm into both. That's things that I like to source and take photographs of, but you do what's best for your business and works best for you because not everybody's into the same stuff, which is why you should watch more than one reseller on YouTube. I'm gonna show you the thing I am most excited and is going to make me the most money now in the beginning in the video instead of at the end like most people do just because it is the, the next thing I grab it out of the bag. So this brand is called Peruvian Connection. I very rarely venture into the dress section only because dress just like pants are the bait of my existence and they are always the last thing I photograph. It is the most prolific thing in my death pile dresses and pants, by the way. But I bought this because it was in my size. It is blue, it is beautiful, and it is a sweater dress made out of 100% alpaca. So I saw these selling on eBay for about $50, and again, cost averaging. I paid $4.50 for this. It is so soft, it has no holes. And I can hand wash this, which I will before I decide to wear it and take photographs. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It'll look beautiful on me until it sells. Chances are when I list that though, given the seasonality, uh, it probably will not be on me for very long. And if it is, I'm perfectly okay with that. So next item, we have another pearl snap. Again, I love picking up pearl snaps. This is Eli Cattleman. This is a large, there is the Eli Cattleman tag if you've never seen it before. Again, pearl snap, plaid, basic, large, no problem selling these for the 15 to $20 range. Perfectly happy to do that all day. This next piece is again, also in a size that I can wear, which uh, is a theme. I will, 
I have no problem buying clothes if it's something that I can wear until it sells. Now, I'm not a big fan of pink, but I am a big fan of money. So I will definitely wear this to take a photograph. The brand is Mercer and Madison, which is something I have never heard about at all. I don't really care about the brand so much for this other than the fact that I bought this purely off of style, fabric content, and the fact that it was my size. So beautiful pink with this scalloped edge and lace eyelet detail on the sleeves and around the collar. It is also on the bottom as well. This is pastel, so you could use key terms just like pastel or pastel goth. This is linen. That's why I bought it. It's 100% linen. Uh, I'm pretty much when I'm going in the dress section, I'm just doing this. Same thing with pants. I'm just doing this. This looks like money. This is just kind of what it is. And I'm just feeling for those high quality fabrics. I'm feeling for wool. I'm feeling for silk. I'm feeling for linen. That's what I'm looking for. So I purchased this. This is a women's eight. So happy about that. Next item is a uh, Something that I don't really hear talked about a lot on reseller YouTube, but it is a brand I pick up a lot and can never hold on to for more than like two weeks. And that is Life is Good. Pretty much anytime I find anything Life is Good, it's gone within two weeks of listing it. Hat, shirt, doesn't matter, but then I get it for cheap and I sell it for cheap. So that's pretty much always been my strategy. This is a great quarter zip long sleeve and a medium with the big life is good logo there on the front again paid four dollars and fifty cents for this probably listed around the twenty dollar area be perfectly happy to move it out this next item uh again just feeling for fabrics you get it i feel like you get a tactile feel for that especially also because i like to craft and sew i just have a feeling despite the fact i have very limited feeling in my hands uh, for fabric and I felt this I've been enjoying buying and selling scarves Recently, but it has to be quality and it has to be the material So this is a gorgeous orange like I know this is more of a fall color and we are going We are in the middle of winter and going into spring But this is pashmina and it is cashmere and silk and this magically has no pulls in it. I did find two other pashminas at the CHKD, but unfortunately both of them had pretty substantial pulls in them, so I left them behind. Super excited about this. I also recently went to an estate sale and got two other pashmina pieces that I need, need to pull and list because we are still in the winter and now is the time to list those things. I also picked up this. This is Foot Joy. We are going to go into spring golf season soon. So that is the logo for Foot Joy. I believe this is an XL. Nope, this is a medium. So if you're ever wondering about size, the size is always going to be looking like a copyright symbol over here when you look at the shirt. And it is embroidered on the back. It has some eagle. I'm pretty sure that this is a golf course. I think this is actually Colonial Heritage's golf course logo whatever it's a burb somebody's still gonna buy it because they're like america and it's red and it's got stripes but yeah i picked this up because foot joy especially when we get into march when i get into march my golf stuff just goes so definitely picking that up for that time i picked up another scarf this is worth this is by worth and again, we are probably in fall colors, but I don't care because look at it. This is just absolutely gorgeous. This is a giant square. So this is wool, so it has moth holes, which can be expected with wool. I picked this up because I'm going to make something out of it because it is gorgeous. It's wool, it's high quality wool. So I'm going to get this washed and then I will be using this for sewing projects. It's just, it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna probably make like a reticule out of it. If you don't know what a reticule is, you will find out maybe later. All right, 
And the last piece again, do not care about price if it is something that I can wear until it sells. Uh, this is cut from the cloth. This is actually my first time finding cut from the cloth at the thrift store. And the reason I picked it up is because it's green and I do believe this is going to fit me. I did not try this on at the store, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to fit me. I do have footballer shoulders, so it may, it's not great because it doesn't really fit my arms, but I can definitely take some cute Instagram photos with this. As long as I don't want to like reach anything in front of me, it's fine. Like if I'm just doing this, it's fine. But yeah, cut from the cloth. It's got this interesting ribbing detail here. It's got pocket. Oh, actually these are good pockets. Good pockets, interesting TV with a ruffle feature down here. And uh, yeah, with my hat, hold on, let me go get my hat. I mean, I'm not wearing the right blouse for this, but it matches my hat perfectly. So I am more than happy to wear this until it sells or style it until it sells. But I just thought this was too stinking cute for $4.50. Actually, I kind of like the ruffle details. It's giving me like very spiky villainous type of deal here. But yeah, so uh, I hope you guys like this little haul. Uh, again, this is stuff that I like to sell. The Foot Joy is actually a really good brand. The Peruvian Connection is a really good brand, but a lot of this other stuff is just bread and butter things for myself or crafting things or things that I can wear until they sell, which is something I will make a video about probably next month. I'm going to do like a rotating reseller closet. Like I'm, I, I talk about that some in the last year or so, but like I'm gonna actually make that happen. Like I'm gonna do a deep purge and list most everything. And I'm excited for that. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. And until then, bye.